video, I am going to take my Strathmore drawing paper. I am going to take these supplies and I'm going to do a pet portrait doodle of my dear sweet cat Whiskey. A couple weeks ago, I uploaded two videos on my channel. I will link them below. They were of pet portraits that were commissioned from me, a dog and a cat. I absolutely loved the way they turned out, so I wanted to do one for myself. Uh, so I'm gonna actually go ahead and insert a picture of the previous pet portrait doodles. So as you can see, they're just absolutely lovely and I want to have them for myself. So if you like this video, before we get started, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. I release videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You will want to click the bell so you don't miss any of those. So let's go ahead and switch over to my time-lapse view and we'll get doodling. Welcome to my time-lapse view. This is what we're working on today. As you can see, I have already gotten the internal doodling part done. So let me go over what I used to get to this process. I use my Faber Castell pen. It is a black fine tip. I use that for the outlining like I do for most of my doodles. It is my favorite. I love using it. Faber Castell, highly recommended. For the shading, I used a Sharpie pen in fine point black. I really like this pen because it is buildable and it's a lot more uh, just useful for shading. You can determine how dark you want it to be. For the nose and for the ears, I used this pink for her beard and the other white highlights, I used a Jelly Roll in 8 point. It's your classic Jelly Roll. If you were in high school in the late 80s or early 2000s, you know exactly what I'm talking about. For the internal doodling, I used another Sharpie pen in kind of the orangey marmalade. And for the external doodles, I'm going to be using this Chisel Sharpie in black. So... If you've seen my past videos, you have probably seen my cat Whiskey make a bit of an appearance. She likes to check in on me and see what I'm doing while I'm doodling. Uh, she is the only fur baby that I have at this time. I have had other furs in the past, but she is the only child and she probably will remain that way. She's a bit territorial and I would love to bring another animal in, but I just don't think she would appreciate that. Uh, so this particular image of her is pretty old. She's currently eight, and she was like a year, year and a half when I took the picture that I used for this image. So that's why she has like the really big ears and like the really big paws. Uh, she was in that weird kitten stage where she hadn't really quite grown into those areas yet. Uh, she was sitting on my counter in my old apartment when I took this picture. I, she was taking a little cat nap, and just the way she was lounging and the look on her face, it kind of had like this sphinxy pinup look to it, and she just looked so regal and grand. I had to take a picture, and when I was trying to choose the image for this pet portrait, I chose this one. It's not necessarily my favorite, but just because of how her body is positioned and how just straightforward her face is. I thought it would be a really good image to use, and I was correct. Um, so I honestly don't know what I was telling you right there where I was pointing to things. Uh, I recorded this video a while ago. I, and actually, I don't know if you noticed, but in the introduction to this video, I have a tattoo on my left inner wrist, which I do not actually have in this video. Uh, so that's how long ago uh, I've had this tattoo for a few weeks now. So I don't know what I was saying. That's what I'm saying right now. <laughs> anyway, back to the pet portraits, back to the issue at hand. I love doing these. I have an Etsy account where I sell my doodles, and this is something that I definitely want to put on there as an option for people to send in pictures so I can doodle their pets because, you know, we all love our fur babies and we want to idolize them in a cool manner and 
no, doodling's cool. So there you go. So I actually sorry, train of thought going by. Uh, you will have noticed if you've watched several of my videos that the type of doodling, whether they be circular, square, kind of differs. Um, I have actually said in the past that I was not really happy with the types of doodles. Like you guys would never know, but you know, I see it and I'm like, ugh, that's not what I like. This one, I really like. It's just a really perfect combination of circles and squares for me. It has just a really nice flow. I was very happy with it. I actually already have Miss Whiskey's doodle framed. Um, it's been on my wall for a couple of days now. I, I showed her the finished product. She, she didn't care. I, you know, how cats are. Um, so we're, we're coming towards an end here with this doodle. As you can see, I've got just a little bit of space left to fill. So I'm going to go ahead and say thank you for coming along with me and listening to my quick little story about why I chose this picture to do a pet portrait of my sweet whiskey. So if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I'm going to go ahead, once I am finished, and send you back over to my desk view so you can see the finished product in its frame. All right, I'll see you in a minute. All right. Welcome back to my desk view and our finished in frame doodle. So I know there's a bit of a glare, I'm sorry. So I, I went ahead and used a floating frame. I've been doing this for the last few doodles that I framed and I really enjoy the way it looks. I think it's nice and just gives it a little bit of an extra class, you know, classifies the doodles, makes it classy. Anyway, so here we go. This is all, just wanted to show you nice frame doodle of my dear cat whiskey. Thank you again for watching my video and I will see you next time. Later.